Hey everybody, time for another using Emacs video. It's, um, I think this is 75, so, you know, wow, uh, who'd have thunk? 75 videos over the course of, I don't know, close to five years. Um, you know, uh, I didn't think I'd be doing this many or that I'd still be doing them, but hey, whatever. Uh, this one's going to be kind of a quick hit just on a little something that, um, that was brought to my attention the other day. So, um, basically, um, if we wanted to take a look at, um, uh, basically, we'll take a look at, uh, you know, we'll just jump into Emacs here. And this is just my basic org file. And, um, you know, let's say, let's get a few other things going. Like, let's, um, you know, I could read my mail. Maybe I'm composing an email. You know, I'll just send this to myself. Uh, you know, whatever. I'm not actually going to send this right now. Maybe I'm going to, uh, you know, start looking at some of my RSS feeds. And, you um, you know, maybe I'm going to bring up my configuration file. Um, uh, let's say I'm also going to, you know, this is just a little file from, um, you know, just some, some little sample stuff from the class I'm doing. And, um, you know, so I've brought all these buffers open and I've been using um, iBuffer. Well, I mean, I can just do control, well, control X B, um, you know, just to do the buffer stuff here, but control X control B, I bound to I buffer. And you'll notice that I have, this is um, list stuff is under a projectile thing. This is under projectile, three projectile things. And then these guys are down here. Um, and if I opened other uh, directories that were using projectile, like, or, or let's actually, let's go here. And let's open up another file, uh, maybe. You know, just this turtle file. And now we'll see that there are two files listed under projectile, you know, for 127, that's the folder, um, etc. And if we look at uh, the readme file, my config file, you'll see the idea here is um, I'm using iBuffer, but I'm using um, I'm using <coughs> these filter groups and I'm also using, actually, I'm not really, I'm not using these filter groups. Sorry, I'm not using them anymore. I was using them, but I'm using, uh, where is it? Um, I'm using here um, iBuffer projectile and um, that's what's giving me that projectile stuff. But anyway, um, what I found is, and let's go, let's Let's go back to the iBuffer stuff. Um, so basically what I found, or somebody commented, that there's something known as Buffler. And Buffler, let's take a look, um, let's take a look at that. So we're at Melpa. Buffler, um, is a, another buffer management thing, um, but it also, you know, and, and in a similar way, if we look through this, um, you can compare it to iBuffer. Um, we're not really going to compare it to iBuffer right now, um, but we can define groups so we can do some stuff with that, like, like this with it. So let's take a look. What I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to put in another section. And I'm just going to change this from uh, from buff um, from my buffer to buffer stuff because I'll have both of them in here. And I'm going to do a use package, and I think it's just called iBuffer, a buffler rather. in short t um, and that's all we're going to do for it right now so let's uh let's run this and now we should um so it looks like uh, that's obsolete hopefully it'll still work let's do i buffler or not i buffer sorry i keep saying that buffler uh, buffler list and we'll notice over here this is how it arranges it. So we got two special buffers, um, I buffer, uh, you know, the different modes, but it's still giving me Emacs under a projectile thing, org files, the two files for 127, um, you know, and it's also, so it, it seems to be giving me, let's do another one. Let's do a diared of my downloads directory, um, you know, just uh, whatever. But now if I do iBuffer, 
Um, you know, we don't get anything special for these guys here. Um, but if I do the buffler stuff, um, it looks like we're getting, um, you know, we're getting, and let's, you know, let's, let's just bring the Emacs up bigger now. Um, it looks like we're getting, again, the special I buffer, L feed search, you know. Um, it's giving it to us a little bit more broken down for us. Now, you know, there might be a couple of issues with this, like special versus special mode, um, you know, um, but, um, you know, the directories for this looks like similar to, you know, dealing with projectile here. Um, and then, you know, this, uh, where is this die red mode? So this looks kind of cool. I'm also just noticing this now, this up to date versus edited over here um, is kind of nice, gives us a little status over there. Um, so, so this is actually looking kind of cool. So thank you for that recommendation. Um, what I think I'm going to do is I am going to actually put a tangle no in here so that I'm not going to um, do all of the I buffer stuff because I'm not doing this stuff anyway anymore. Um, and the I buffer projectile stuff, I will just comment out. Um, and so what we're going to do here is why don't we, um, and what I should probably do is going back to I, the buffer stuff, um, instead of setting key, and you know, I'll, I'll put this into the binding for the use package later, this should become buffler, just buffler. So that should be that. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I am going to exit all of this, uh, kill all my Emacs's, um, and then start it up again. And, you know, this starting it up is going to be in a, um, um, I, I bound a key, control X, um, not control X, like command, you know, Windows E thingy X. And did that not work? No, we did got buffer. So there's nothing here. Um, actually, I think there's an issue here. Let me do Emacs debug init. I probably have a little error in there because it didn't give me all of my bindings, didn't get through everything. Um, and let's see where this is. So let's go to our readme file and I'm not going to stress about this too much um, it's going to be just in a couple of places the buffer stuff I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be tangle no this is correct let's check this that is correct um, I'm pretty sure the tangle no is what I want um, Oh, right. Um, I didn't give quite enough room there. So we'll try this again. Let us kill all our Emacs's. Let us reload our Emacs's. And just notice, just this is, you know, this happens sometimes. You'll come up with these errors. So that debugging it um, is definitely, 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 definitely a big help. Um, there we go. And let me open my org file. Let me open my config file. Let's do control X B. Um, it's not opening it on the main window. It's opening it in a separate window, but I'm sure there is an option for that. I'm sure there's a variable I can set for that, um, but I'm gonna play with buffler for a while. And um, yeah, so um, that's about it. You know, we could, you know, if we wanted to um, added buffler, push this on up. Um, and that's that. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, that is basically uh, that's basically a nice little package. I want to. I'm, I'm going to look in the documentation now and see how I can set it to open up in another window, not in another window, but over, you know, like the whole screen because that's the way I like it. Um, so check it out, and I'll see you all next time.